You can own a private jet. You can own a mansion in Bucharest. You can own a fleet of sports cars. But what happens when you want to own women? Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate, and two other suspects were arrested for trafficking women, and I'd like to read the charges that are, are against them. Four suspects appear to have created an organized crime group with the purpose of recruiting, housing, and exploiting women by forcing them to create pornographic content meant to be seen on specialized websites for a cost. The Taliban put out a statement in favor of Andrew Tate. Why? that they said that Andrew and Tristan Tate had to enslave women because people in Western culture are being suppressed by feminist personalities. You know, we could talk and talk and talk about this case, but what I really want you to know is that human trafficking is an issue that involves about 25 million people worldwide. What did Andrew and Tristan do? They did what most sex traffickers do. They find a vulnerable woman. They lure that woman with the promise of a better life. They're very careful not to bruise, physically hurt, or maim the victims because that would bring them to the attention of the police. First of all, they dehumanize them. Then they create a sense of paranoia and mistrust. They make them to believe that if the police were called, that the police would blame the victim rather than the perpetrator. They create a situation in which they use the exploitation in order to gain or make hundreds of thousands of dollars off the victims. Finally, they offer a little glimmer of hope. They say, look, if you do this a little while longer, we'll set you free, you'll have extra money, we'll give it to your family, we'll bring your family out of the Ukraine, we'll make sure they're safe. But you know, the goalpost just keeps moving further and further and further down the road. From a psychoanalytic perspective, why do men dominate and enslave women? The man has to be either an extreme narcissist or a sociopath. These men relate on the basis of power rather than affection. Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate do not have the concept of affection. They only have the concept of power. They want to exploit others. The idea of give and take and mutuality in a relationship is something that would be very foreign to them. They only feel that they can get their needs met by extracting from the other. In order to be in a good relationship, you have to be able to admire the goodness of the other person without feeling bad about yourself. These people cannot do that. To see these women as special, prized, smart, beautiful is going to make them feel bad about themselves. So they cannot afford to do that. So what do they do? They dehumanize them and turn them into objects. In the text, I'm going to offer some suggestions for dealing with narcissists, dealing with sociopaths, and how to avoid relationships where you're being dominated and exploited by another person.